Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here to provide you with an update on Lumathera. I'm Clark Tedford, President and CEO of Lumathera. And today we're going to talk about the update on the Valeda light delivery system. We're using a targeted photoceutical approach to treat ocular damage and disease. The company today has spent most of the time working on dry age-related macular degeneration, though we did report some recent data in diabetic retinopathy. So overall, the Valeda provides a multiple wavelength treatment. It takes a little over four minutes per eye. We can do each eye individually or both of them under 10 minutes. No pupil dilation, we use wavelengths that can either uh, close through the uh, closed eyelid. Um, when the patient is done, they can get up and go about their daily activities. We typically do about nine sessions over the course of three to four weeks. They're short sessions to stimulate the retinal tissue, and that provides us with sustained benefits. In Europe, where we're approved, we typically do two treatments a year, and the recent trial, we increased it to every uh, four months. This year, it's been very exciting for us. We actually treated um, three clinical trials, had readouts, and we completely enrolled our US Light Site 3 trial. Light Site 1 is published in Retina, and our post marketing study in Europe, the Light Site 2, completed in the second quarter. It was uh, compromised by COVID, but we did complete the study and showed a nice improvement in best corrected visual acuity at the nine month uh, time point. We also started to see reductions in GA growth no deposition of drusen or drusen growth over the course of the study. The electrolyte study is going to be presented uh, this week at, uh, at the uh, Retinal Society meeting. It was a study conducted with diopsis using both subjective and objective uh, vision markers. In the electrolyte study, we uh, uh, ran um, 23 eyes of intermediate uh, patients in dry AMD and showed an increase in retinal output, 14% increase in multiluminance ERG as well as an improvement in BCVA and contrast sensitivity. And then recently we also reported out early studies, our first studies in diabetic macular edema and diabetic retinopathy patients with 30 eyes showing anatomical benefits and no safety issues out to 16 months. And most importantly, the Light Site 3 study is completely enrolled. We're expecting 13 month efficacy readouts in the first quarter of 2022. I know that a lot of people are interested in how light therapy works at the mechanism. And so what I'd like to do is have a um, uh, video ran now showing mechanism of action of, of uh, Lumathera's Valeda. Valeda light delivery system is the first approved treatment using photobiomodulation for dry age-related macular degeneration and other ocular damage and disease. Photobiomodulation Mechanisms of Action. Photobiomodulation, PBM, harnesses the power of light to target disease at the cellular level. PBM treatment delivers select wavelengths which act on cellular mechanisms important to age-related macular degeneration, AMD. PBM activates photoacceptors in the mitochondrial respiratory chain. The specific wavelengths in PBM treatment increase enzymatic activity at two separate sites on cytochrome C oxidase, CCO. Increased CCO activity helps drive the generation of the proton gradient required by ATP synthase to produce energy. Restoring the production of energy, ATP, and signaling molecules triggers secondary effects that sustain improved cell function. PBM treatment has been shown to reduce drusen volume and thickness and increase visual acuity and contrast sensitivity. Photobiomodulation treatment with Valeda harnesses the power of light to offer a brighter horizon for patients with dry AMD. So I think one of the big things that we want to look at is when we treat chronic disease, whether it's eye disease or other type of degenerative diseases, is how can we have an impact by treating patients early? What we did is we commissioned a group called Device Access that had ability to look at the NHS uh, uh, data systems. And they created a Markov model for the treatment of dry aid and wet AMD disease. What's shown on the right is basic standard treatment in the UK for a 75-year-old person and through looking at life expectancy, 
uh, drusen growth, progression of disease through wet, and ultimately what you see is an increase in the number of patients that become legally blind. By improving vision or slowing growth of drusen, slowing uh, GA growth, preventing AMD progression, you can see on the left the results from our Light Sight 2 study in Europe where you can see very clearly in the brown box the delay in the number of patients that become legally blind. Those models can be used quite nicely to show the benefits of quality of life for reimbursement for other things. In this case on the left is using our Light Sight 2 data, which showed a 4% increase in BCVA. Even if that repeat treatment doesn't maintain that level of efficacy over time, you can see the shift to the left in the progression of AMD, delaying not only legal blindness, but also quality of life improvements. On the right side is the cost-effective plane. And while we can see that we not only increase the effectiveness in terms of quality of life, but we are saving the healthcare system significant dollars. So we're very excited. We've had three trials that read out this year. We look at Light Site 3 as a study that will come out in the first quarter of next year with the efficacy data. And we're very excited to be able to look at something that can potentially slow the progression and treat these patients early on. And with that, I'd like to say thank you very much and be willing to talk at any of the breaks. Thank you.